feel like I need to take my glasses off because of the ring light. Now I really cannot see them. Right now it's 7.51 p.m. Friday, November 12th. I kind of want to make this video to help myself, but also maybe help other people because I haven't been doing equal feet the past few weeks. Partly because I switched up some of my medications and that ended up making things a lot worse. So then I went back and so my body's like, what the is going on? Really, you want to say hi? Yeah. Want to sit with me? Sorry, I'm a bit distracted. But basically, I started to get a bit more on track today. I did some laundry, did a bunch of my dishes that I got behind on, and that's how you know it's bad because I've kept up with my dishes for the past like two or three months, and I haven't done them in like a week. I've just been like sleeping and, you know, typical depression things. I've had depression for a while now, but it has its worst days or weeks or months, you know, so this past few weeks have been great. But like I said, we're getting back on track. Actually. I can grab my iPad. I decided to make like a little kind of getting out of a rut, I guess, journal entry. I just put like my accomplishments that I had done so far in the day and I wrote every little thing because, you know, nothing's too small. That makes me feel better. Like I literally wrote picking up trash in my room. Crew, can you stop that? And then I also started writing down some more things I want to do. It doesn't mean I have to do all of them right now, but just some of the things on my mind that I've been wanting to get done. And I'm going to keep adding to it like tonight and tomorrow's up crew. But hopefully, I know with the ring light glare, it's probably hard to see. So I have some homework that I want to do. Showering, that's a big thing. When I get in really depressed states and stuff, especially because I don't, go to class so since I really don't have to leave the house or my apartment it makes it very easy to neglect personal care and taking care of myself I'm sure other people can relate to that something just like as simple as like showering or taking care of myself at all I don't know I just don't see the need for it when I literally am not going anywhere and I feel like crap and everything in my body is telling me to sit and do nothing all day. I could get really productive and clean my whole room and all this and still something like showering just seems impossible. So I would like to shower today, tonight, if possible. If not, it's not the end of the world, but that is something I want to try to do and brush my teeth because it's been a bit that's another thing to taking care of yourself personal hygiene it sounds gross but like it's true you know maybe floss or something wear my retainer that'd be good let's see what else do i have here i would like to vacuum my room it won't take very long i just never think to do it until it's like too late i feel like it's okay to do it anytime before midnight and it's friday night too so like people are going out and stuff sweep my bathroom that would just be a good thing to get done because i did clean the litter box today so it'd be nice to just finish that off pick up my room a bit i already like did some of that but just like little stuff you know before i vacuum and fold and put away clean laundry i did so i can check that off yeah i just want to make this video just to kind of show you know you're not alone i mean i'm sure a lot of people can relate to this sadly i think social media a lot of times especially during quarantine and covid and everything it's like you're seeing all these perfect people on social media with all these perfect lives it's really easy to you know fall into that and everything i fall into it all the time where i'm like everyone else is having a better life a better time blah blah, blah. social media a lot of times is fake same thing with youtube like these perfect morning routines or fall blah 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 i didn't get ready to film this or anything i put a headband in my hair because it's been in this bun for like five days i didn't get ready for this this is life and this is what happened so just trying to you know, normalize some of that so is crew apparently another thing i did to try to help my depression which it slightly did for a bit this was my favorite graphic novel ever like i read this multiple times and so i bought it at target and then i bought another book she came out with like a graphic novel that went along with it and i read both of them and it did make me feel a little better so if you're feeling down maybe do something like that it's just like so fun like I like reading and like watching things I've already watched. Apparently that's like an anxiety thing because you know what's going to happen and so you're not nervous about it. I also think I was like getting sick this week. I don't know if it's because I was doing so bad mentally, but like I literally felt like I had a fever the other night before I went to sleep. You never know. It's all connected. That is the plan. 
I'll be back. We're doing something. Now I need to be able to see again. Oh, hallelujah. Wow, I can see. Is it recording? <laughs> Wow. 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 Bread and butter. Bread and butter. Get the whole fit. <laughs> Ingredient one. Butter. Bread. Not Chloe, not right now. Oh. We need to show the bread. Okay. Yeah. Wait, hold me like we're, we're married. It's a baby's. <laughs> <laughs> Four pieces of bread. <laughs> yeah, you know, because like this one's a little smaller, so like it's <laughs> one of those times. <laughs> this is what Sarah's having for her 4 a.m. snack. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I haven't had bread and butter in like three days. Which is so we had to make up for the yeah. time lost. <laughs> of course. I feel like I should get on a horse. Why? <laughs> With my jacket. <laughs> Sarah Ann. Protein cookie, but I'm not like 
physical touch. <laughs> You're allowed to hug me back. Thanks. <laughs> that was a really sweet moment. <laughs> well, I feel bad for like a protein thing. Oh! <laughs> And that's where I'll leave you for the night. Thanks for showing up, coming out, supporting. It's a traitor right there. <gasps> you, seen one? you traitor! <laughs> we ran in circles. Took a shower. Hair's drying. I felt a lot of motivation before my shower. And then as soon as I got out of the shower, I was like, um, I don't feel good. I need to lay down. I didn't fall back asleep. I just lay there for a while. This video was supposed to be getting out of a rut, getting out of a depression rut, and here we are probably a week later. I feel like I started this like on the 12th or something. Yeah, it's literally the 17th. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's pretty accurate, so, you know. I have a midterm tomorrow and it's worth like 30% of our grade because one of our exams is dropped if you take the final, but I already did really bad on the first one because I was planning on having that one dropped. So, I kind of need to get good on this one, but it's tomorrow, and I didn't sleep last night, and... <sighs> okay, I need to put on, like, a sports bra or something and change my battery. I'll be back. Where was I going with this? I don't even know. Midterm. I gotta take a midterm. I'm wearing my new fuzzy socks. I made myself some food. I'm hungry, but I'm not. I don't know. My mouth is really so we have one can of Campbell's tomato soup with apparently some cat hair in it now. And then, of course, some bread. And I just put a little bit of butter and cream cheese on it. I think we're gonna try to watch something here, eat a little food. And I need to start getting to studying. That's what needs to happen. I'll come back when I hopefully have started studying. Most definitely. I've started studying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 